GPS receivers are important tools for locating points on a map. These days, many phones have GPS receivers built into them, and you can get inexpensive receivers that are handheld and remarkably accurate, like the one shown here. You turn this on, the first thing that'll happen is the GPS will try to determine the signals from several satellites. In order to locate you, the GPS is going to detect signals from satellites and do a triangulation calculation. So it has to see three or four satellites in order to do that. Once it's got the satellite signal, uh, it can start to give you the location. And this one tells you, well, if you make a measurement now, it'll be accurate to within 44 feet. So you're ready to go. But before you actually make a measurement, what I would recommend is that you check out the datum that the GPS is set up to use, and you write this down in your notes. Then, when you're ready to make a measurement, you scroll through the selection until you get to, that says mark. And when you're there and you press this button here on the side, then you'll get a window that looks like this. And uh, when you press that button, you uh, make a measurement and the uh, results are shown here at the bottom of the screen. So if we zoom in on the screen, we can see this little guy here planting his flag and we can see the results of the location measurement given there. These results are in UTM coordinates and um, we'll, I'll show you a little more detail how the UTM coordinates work in just a second. But before we get there, what I'd like to do is to go back to this business of the datum. This is going to be really important because there are several datums that are possible. And if you're using the wrong one and you don't know it, then your measurements will be off. So to check out the datum, go to Setup, scroll there, press Enter, and you'll get a screen that looks like this. Scroll down to Units select that and you'll get a screen that looks like this. Now there are, there are two pieces of information that you're interested in. One is the format of the position. In this case it's UTM and that's the format that you want. It could also be latitude and longitude. That's another commonly used position format. Uh, that has many applications uh, but for our purposes in class I would recommend using UTM. The other piece of information is right here. That is the datum that is being used. It's a UTM datum and it's NAD83. That's the particular setup that's used right now. So if we wanted to change that, we can scroll down to this selection, press enter, and we get this screen right here. And you can see that there are, are many, sweet, there are, I don't know, about, um, about 10 different selections that are shown on this screen. And if you scroll up and down, you'll see that there are many more. So we're selecting, we've selected uh, NAD 83 right here when you turn the um, GPS on. And I've scrolled here and located this one, NAD 27 Con US. That's another very commonly used datum. Uh, the Con US stands for Continental US. Um, so you might also want to be uh, using that one. You should at least be aware of how to select it. Uh, what you'll do is take a look at the map. Any map that you use, any like a seven half quadrangle map, will uh, give you the datum that is used. And you need to make sure that that datum matches up with the datum that you've selected for the points that you're uh, identifying with your GPS system. Okay, so you've uh, selected a, uh, you've marked a point and it's given you the UTM coordinates. In a big picture, this is what you've got. The UTM coordinates uh, consist of a, a variety of zones across the U.S. and they're selected uh, by latitude and longitude. So the latitude zones are right here between these two bars and uh, uh, well, the, the bars are, let me see, it would be like this bar here and that bar there. So that's a longitude um, bracket of the boundaries on a, a UTM zone. And you can see here that these longitude zones are numbered. 
There are also latitude zones right there and right there. They, those are the borders on a latitude zone and they are lettered. So with one combination of a letter and a number, we can locate the UTM zone uh, where we're working. So here's a map of the US with the UTM zones. You can see the number and the letter that designate each zone. And we're here in South Carolina in this zone here, 17S. Now to locate ourselves within that zone, there's a number that gives us the coordinate here uh, in the, this is called the Easting number. And this is the distance in meters that we need to go in an easterly direction from a, uh, a reference datum. And this is the northing uh, coordinate. And this is the distance in meters that we need to go north of the equator. OK, so the way to think about this is, let's see, this is seven digits right here. So we have four digits there and three digits there. And the northing number is also seven digits and three digits. So the way that this works is that the, the UTM zone is divided up into one kilometer blocks. So we can think of this 17S zone as having many blocks like this. And each one of these is one kilometer on a side. So if we zoom in on one of those blocks, we get something that looks like this. And the way this is set up is that the first four digits tell us what one kilometer block the point is in. The easting number tells us the distance from the uh, reference datum over here on the west side. So this easting number is We've got a reference datum and we're going in this direction and 0704 would be right there. There's 0705. This is one kilometer right here. And what I'm showing you is the lower left corner of a um, seven and a half minute quadrangle map. And the northing number is right here, 3391. So we look over here, there's 3390, there's 3391. So these two bold numbers, the first four digits of the easting and northing number, specify this location right there. And that's the origin of coordinates for a one kilometer block that's right here. Now to locate ourselves, we take this next these next three digits, 250, that's 250 meters in the easterly direction from this reference block, reference point. So there's 250, and this is 520 in the northerly direction, so we go up 520. And these are measured with a scale, and then we go and, uh, and take the intersection, and that's the location of the point that's designated by these UTM coordinates. Okay, so if we go back to the GPS that we saw earlier and we look there, we can see, maybe you can, you can read the 17S. And this number here is the easterly or easting and the number below it is the northing. So if I blow this up and type it out so it's a little easier to read, there's 17S, that's the zone that we're in here. And here's the easting number and the northing number. So this will be this uh, one kilometer block that we're in and we're 183 meters to the, uh, in, to the east of the edge of that block. Pulled here and located this one, NAD 27, CON US. That's another very commonly used datum. Uh, the CON US stands for Continental US. Um, so you might also wanna be uh, using that one. You should at least be aware of how to select it. Uh, what you'll do is take a look at the map. Any map that you use, any like a seven half quadrangle map, will uh, give you the datum that is used. 
and you need to make sure that that datum matches up with the datum that you've selected for the points that you're uh, identifying with your GPS system. Okay, so you've uh, selected a, uh, you've marked a point and it's given you the UTM coordinates. In a big picture, this is what you've got. The UTM coordinates uh, consist of uh, a variety of zones across the U.S. and they're selected uh, by latitude and longitude. So the latitude zones are right here between these two bars and uh, uh, well, the, the bars are, let me see, it would be like this bar here and that bar there. So that's a longitude um, bracket of the boundaries on a, a UTM zone and you can see here that these longitude zones are numbered. There are also latitude zones right there and right there. They, those are the borders on a latitude zone and they are lettered. So with one combination of a letter and a number, we can locate the UTM zone uh, where we're working. So here's a map of the US with the UTM zones. You can see the number and the letter that designate each zone and we're here in South Carolina in this zone here, 17S. Now to locate ourselves within that zone, there's a number that gives us the coordinate here uh, in the, this is called the Easting number, and this is the distance in meters that we need to go in an easterly direction from a, uh, a reference datum and this is the northing uh, coordinate, and this is the distance in meters that we need to go north of the equator. Okay, so the way to think about this is, let's see, this is seven digits right here. So we have four digits there and three digits there. And the northing number is also seven digits and three digits. So the way that this works is that the, the UTM zone is divided up into one kilometer blocks. So we can think of this 17S zone as having many blocks like this. And each one of these is one kilometer on a side. So if we zoom in on one of those blocks, we get something that looks like this. And the way this is set up is that the first four digits tell us what one kilometer block the point is in. The easting number tells us the distance from the uh, reference datum over here on the west side. So this easting number is, we've got a reference datum and we're going in this direction. And 0704 would be right there. There's 0705. This is one kilometer right here. And what I'm showing you is the lower left corner of a um, seven and a half minute quadrangle map. And the northing number is right here, 3391. So we look over here, there's 3390, there's 3391. So these two bold numbers, the first four digits of the easting and northing number, specify this location right there. And that's the origin of coordinates for a one kilometer block that's right here. Now to locate ourselves, we take this next, these next three digits, 250, that's 250 meters in the easterly direction from this reference block, reference point. So there's 250 and this is 520 in the northerly direction. So we go up 520 and these are measured with a scale. And then we go and, uh, and take the intersection and that's the location of the point that's designated by these UTM coordinates. Okay, so if we go back to the GPS that we saw earlier, and we look there, we can see, maybe you can, you can read the 17S, and this number here is the easterly, or easting, 
and the number below it is the northing. So if I blow this up and type it out so it's a little easier to read, there's 17S, that's the zone that we're in here, and here's the easting number and the northing number. So this will be this uh, one kilometer block that we're in, and we're 183 meters to the uh, in to the east of the edge of that block. Okay, so let's try plotting a point using a, a base map. So this is a base map that's a seven half quadrant, seven and a half minute quadrangle map, and it has UTM coordinates on it. These uh, blocks here, this guy right here, is this uh, a one kilometer block in the UTM system. So if we come over here and say, well, this is our UTM coordinate. This came from the GPS, just like we saw on the previous page. It's at zone 13. Here's our easting number. Here's the first four digits and our northing number, the first four digits. And we go and plot that on this map. The way to do it is to first go with the easting. That's down here on the bottom of the map. There's uh, 704 uh, corresponding to that set of numbers and 3391, there's 3390 and 3391. So the uh, origin of coordinates for the block that we're interested in is right there. And then we've got to go 250 to the east. So we go over here, 250 and 520 to the north of this corner point, there's 520. And these measurements, the 250 and the 520, those are made using the scale of this particular map. So we have to be able to measure that distance using the appropriate scale. And usually you can work out how to do that with the engineer scale. Some compasses uh, have a uh, scale built into them that will uh, that, that is basically set up for a seven and a half minute quadrangle map uh, to give you the, the correct uh, UTM distances. So check your compass and see if it, it's one of those that's set up that way. Um, if we look down here in the lower left-hand corner of the map, we can see some important information. There is the datum that's being used. So this set of uh, UTM measurements uh, really had to have been done using this particular datum, the 1927 Continental U.S. datum. So this is the procedure. You use a GPS receiver to determine the UTM coordinate, and then you take that UTM coordinate and plot it on the map. And that gives you, in this case, the ability to plot the location of a drill hole on a seven and a half minute quadrangle map.